in 1994, we are going to make our annual Christmas dive, the day before Christmas. As we were in the Oostvorense Meer, we wanted to visit the shipwreck of the Amsterdam. The water is rather cold now, about 6 degrees centigrade, and we have to get used to the cold. As I said, it's Christmas time, and we have to collect candles hidden on the seabed. We are with the four of us, looking for candles and the Amsterdam. The sandy bottom stretches out for us, and now and then we see bunches of seaweed. We have rather good sight, but as we go deeper, the light is diminishing and we depend on our flashlights. The seabed is sinking up to 12 meters and it's where about the Amsterdam should be. If you've seen a movie, you know there was a big blast and the ship went down, swallowed by the waves. We are very curious about the damage the blast caused. And then, all of a the sudden, there is the shipwreck, the Amsterdam from the movie. From this side, it looks unbroken and damaged. Perhaps it's just another ship. It looks small from this side. Approaching the wreck, we can see the damage the blast made. All the windows have been removed and there's a big hole in front of the ship. You can see the ship is lying here for six years, since 1988. And going to the back of the ship, we see the devastation the blast has made. Half the hull has been blown away. Entering into the vessel, you can see remnants of the propulsion engine. There's nothing interesting left in the ship. So we go outside again. In the surroundings of the ship, we find several pieces of the hull. My diving mate is still carrying a candle, and I think it's not so useful in the water. So, that's enough for now. We're going back. Our air tanks are almost empty. It was a nice and cold dive, but we made it. We didn't win the candle match. But it was fun.